Hey there, football fans. Welcome back to Soccer News Center. Today, we've got some explosive post-match reactions from Jurgen Klopp after Liverpool's dramatic 2-1 defeat at the hands of Tottenham. Klopp didn't hold back in his criticism of the officials, calling the game unfair and expressing his disbelief at some of the decisions made. I in a game filled with controversy, Liverpool found themselves down to 10 men in the first half when Curtis Jones was shown a straight red card for a late tackle on Eid Bissouma. VAR intervened, urging the referee to review the incident, and the initial yellow card was upgraded to a red. Klopp was quick to defend Jones, stating that it was an unlucky incident and not a bad tackle. Despite being a man down, Liverpool managed to equalize just before halftime through Cody Gakpo's fantastic goal. The Reds showed great resilience and control in the second half, but their task became even harder when Diogo Hoda received a second yellow card in quick succession, leaving them with only nine players on the field. Klopp praised his team's fighting spirit and mentality, saying he had never been prouder of them. However, he expressed his frustration with the officiating, particularly highlighting the incorrect decision to disallow Luis Diaz's goal for offside. Klopp argued that the lines were drawn incorrectly and that Diaz was, in fact, onside. The Liverpool manager's post-match interview was filled with passion and disappointment. He described the circumstances as crazy and the decisions as unfair. Klopp acknowledged the difficult task of defending with nine players and commended his team for their effort and determination. This defeat marks Liverpool's first loss in the Premier League this season, but Klopp's words show that he remains proud of his players despite the result. It's clear that he believes the officials played a significant role in the outcome of the match. That's all for now, folks. What are your thoughts on Klopp's comments? Do you agree with him? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Soccer News Center for more football updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.